Hello, welcome to a Gecko.net video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you basic ASM. I said we'll be using a Starbit address to do our ASM, but I found a Starbit ASM code tutorial written by DCX2 on the weird forums. Uh, it's extremely good. It will tell you how to find the value. I mean, of this star bit, it will tell you how to breakpoint it and how to find the instruction that the star bit's using. So I decided not to make a video tutorial on that since it's already written and it goes into a lot of depth on how to do it that I can't explain without taking about 10 minutes over my maximum time. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to use the address of our infinite flying and B Mario address and use that and make that code into ASM. So what we do is load up gecko.net. I'll be using the breakpoint tab, the disassembly tab, and the GCT code tab. All right. Let me just set up some stuff here. I was making some other codes. Um, so, here we go. Go to your GCT code tab. Load up the address of the B Mario Flying tutorial. Control C to copy. Go to breakpoint. Go into address. Control V to paste. Change it from 03 to 81 because it will not read <laughs> the code type. It has to be the regular address. Um, make sure the breakpoint type is right. Uh, I'm only going to be using right. I'm not going to be going over the other ones. Um, ask questions on the forum if you have an account on what they do. Um, it'll help you. So, on with the code. Turn to a B and make sure your code is off the infinite flying and hit set. <clears throat> what we want is when we start flying as a B for this to break on that address. Um, so what we do I start flying. Good. It broke. Run game. He has his energy. He lost it. Um. So this is good. It means that we have the right address. Now, let's look at the disassembly. In the registers. Let's look at register zero. B3. That is one less than B4, which is our maximum flying in energy. So, this may be the address register we want to change. Let's keep looking. R1. Nothing special, not looking anything different. R2. Mm, same, could be usable, but nothing. Register 3, B4. That is our maximum flying value. Hmm. That is handy. It's greater than R0. So we have two registers that look promising. Keep looking down all these. 0, 0, all this. Uh, I made this code already. So we're not going to be using the rest. The rest of this is just miscellaneous stuff that's needed. So now what we want to do is go to the disassembly tab. <coughs> so the address broke on STH, register 0, 1026, register 29. That doesn't say anything special to you about the flying 
exactly. It doesn't have any connection to register 3, which is the maximum flying value, but it does have a connection to register 0. But this is not what we want. Like I said, I made the code. Right click, copy function, open up your notepad, which should be right here. Control A, Control V, here is your function. That's a lot. <clears throat> All this for just flying. So, find the instruction it broke on, which should be right. Let's look around this instruction, and what did I find in, I found subtract immediate, or register 0, register 3, 1. What this is doing is subtracting 1 from register 3 and putting it into register 0. Now, the registers we found, which were interesting, was register 0 and register 3. Let's look back at the breakpoint tab. <laughs> register 3 is the maximum value. If we subtract 1, it's the next value B3. That's good. That could be what we want. Let's edit it. Back to disassembly. <laughs> Click it. There's a lot of things we can do. We can make it, we can knop it, which will make it so he never flies. We could load immediate um, 180, which is B4 in hex. Or we can add immediate to R0 um, B4. Just 180 again, or um, or zero. But I'm gonna do the simple one, one which makes most sense. Um, right here, if it's subtracting one, we want to make it subtract zero so nothing happens. So select all this, add immediate into R0, comma, register 3, comma, 1. <coughs> so, my bad, 0. What's doing is loading, is adding 0 to R3, which would be the same value, and then storing it to R0. This is symbol. It changed. Start flying. Nothing has changed. Huh. Not good. Change it back. Let's look around some more. Open up your notepad. Keep looking. Mm. This could take a while. Now, this is a big one. It might take shorter. Nothing interesting yet. Ah! Found the exact same instruction here. It must start over. Let's go here in the disassembly. Control C to copy that. Open up. Disassembly tab again. Go to visible address. Paste it in. Update. Here it is. Let's change this back to 
add immediate into R0, R3, 0. Add immediate register 0, comma, register 3, comma, 0. Assemble. Let's start flying. When we are flying, the energy is not going down. That is good. We have found the address. We have found the instruction. So, let's make this into a code. Right click your instruction. GCT code. Name the code. I'll name this tutorial ASM. Okay. Now, breakpoint, I mean disassembly, change this back to the address it was, which was this. Go back to your GCT, tutorial ASM, check it, send codes, cheat sense, start flying. He is flying forever. That is good, that is great. We have made the code. Um, so, hope you learned something in this tutorial. Uh, I know it was a little long, but ASM is complicated, and it takes a while to learn. Have fun hacking. Thank you.